What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Ed Blair. You're now tuning in to the Ed Blair Podcast. This is another episode from the Understudy Series. I did have the pleasure of being on 93.7 with Rush the Guillotine. I'm not going to go into too much because I don't want to give it away, but I do hope you enjoy this episode of the podcast. And much love to Grand Rapids for giving the case who players such as myself an opportunity to come and represent. <laughs> What's good, people? Yes, sir. Ed Blair. It's all about Ed Blair. We about to get it in with the guillotine. That's how we doing it. 97.3 to beat, baby. So we got Lisa over there. Then we got Zach Bowl over there. Mr. Scatterbrain himself. Uh, right back to No Bit Productions. Hey, yo, I'm Zach right Bowl on the field. It's all a link. I'm going to move back to the camera. Ray on the camera. I saw you walking by, we walk into the light. I come with you, we all been through a lot. When I pull you to the side, I'm trying to be the light. I'm trying to get it all together. 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 Yes, yes, y'all. It don't stop. Hip hop here all day, twelve to three with your boy Rush Guillotine. Now we got my man Ed Blair. That interview we promised y'all. What's going on, my man Ed? Not too much, man. Appreciate you for having me. Just been on the grind with this music, taking my time, putting out good quality, quality over quantity. That's a. Hey, let them know about your grind, bro. I, um, I do have an album I dropped last year in April called The Understudy. Got 16 blazing tracks on there. Um, got some nice features on there as well. Got Timo from Goody Mob on there. Word. Got Big Rude on there. Uh, so if you follow the Dungeon family, you know what that's about. Um, I got some heavy producers. MJ Cash, Big B, Joe Lewis out of the A as well by way of Kalamazoo. And then also I dropped this year, uh, Zoomatic, which is, um, how many tracks I got? I think I put 11 on that one. And then uh, that was mostly produced by Big B and De La Zoo did a couple tracks. And then I also got a nice feature from Mickey Fax on there as well. Man, you dropping some names, <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah, man. Grind just don't stop. That's what's up. So, you know, I want to know a little bit more about you, man. So where are you from? Where you rapping, man? From Kalamazoo, Michigan, born and raised. Okay, Michigan in the house. That's what's up, Kalamazoo. You, you a neighbor? Yep. So, uh, you you got any people here in Gunroom you you deal with? Um, I did. Uh, my uncle went to school at Grand Valley, and then he moved recently. And then um, just a few from people from home that that's in the area that go to school here. Okay, so you familiar with, with Gun Rudo? Yeah, I'm familiar. I also came here and did um, another radio show, the Get Ready radio show with Lyric B and uh, Black Matt. That was okay. my first ever radio opportunity, so keep So you're not, a, you're not a stranger to the radio? No, nah, not at all. Okay, that's cool. So what got you into doing this music thing, man? Um, I used to write a lot as a kid. English was always like my favorite subject. And then uh, once I became good with poetry, I just was like, I kind of want to be a rapper. So then when I got older, like uh, once we got to high school or whatever, me and my uh, boy Zach right here, we formed a group called The Heartthrob. We started there and then uh, now we're here. Whoa, all right. So how long you been, you know, doing something far as seriously taking it as a, as a profession? Since 2010. 2010? Yep, okay. eight years in the game. All right, bet, man. So far as lyrically, man, what, what would people think that your project would be that you putting out right now? What, what picture are you trying to paint to the people? Um, 
it ain't always about Molly, lean, guns and money. You know, I'm more on the positive side. I do go through struggle and talk about struggle. Everything is authentic and from the heart. If I ain't lived it, I ain't talking about it. So that's real music then. Absolutely. Real talk. Soulful vibes. I mean, whatever you're looking for on that grown man tip, you're going to find it on both my albums. All right, so as far as production, you got a team of producers or are you out here fishing for your production? I do a little bit of both. So okay. I do got a solid team. Uh, Big B from high school, he went to school with us. Um, Joe Lewis went to school with us, but he was a freshman, I think, when we were seniors. And then um, periodically, I try to give other producers from home or Michigan in general a shot because um, I feel like you need to give back, you know, and collab with more people from home that don't happen too often it's difficult but whenever it does happen i feel like that's when when you make the best it's like magic yeah okay so who have you had far as around here or you know far as collaborations i've been working on that i mean okay. there's a few people i'm interested in working with from here i'll say that okay but you just ain't made that connection yet. yeah and i could name some names i mean i like linda tellis she nice um, I like J-Rob, he nice. Oh, my boy so, J-Rob, yeah, I like J-Rob. Um, we bumping him. But yeah, I used to do open mics and I met a lot of people when they used to be put up or shut up. Um, that was something Fable used to do back in KZU for us. Okay. I don't know if you know Fable. But no, nope, I don't know him, but. He, he nice with it. Um, but other than that, yeah. Those two, get at me. What, what do you do to uh, get yourself in the mind frame to write? Is there a regimen that you do or is things spontaneous or situations? What, 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 you know, what's the thing with your writing process? It depends, truthfully, because I could be at work on the clock and then I could just be in the middle of something and then I'll be like, all right, let me pause real quick so I can go write these eight bars real quick. Or it just it just happens. Like, um, it's hard to explain. I don't have like a regimen or a routine. It's just whatever I'm feeling at the moment, I just stop, jot it down real quick and come back to it. All right, I'm gonna let you go ahead and bust open one of these joints to my listeners, man. What, okay. what we about to listen to, dude? Uh, let's hit them with that make money. Make money? Yep. Give them some make money, baby. 97.3 the beat. What up, Got another one, huh? Another one. What? DJ Khaled voice. DJ Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> funny bad, funny bad. So what what do you do on a normal day, man, as far as uh, just a normal day for you, bro? I ain't gonna pump fake. I work a regular nine to five like everybody else, man. Get up, go to work, make that bag, secure the bag, put it in the music. Right, and so all see, I can. What you, see what you can do after that. Exactly, yeah. And then I just hang out with the homies, do music on the side, whatever else come up, perform if I ever anything come up. Speaking of performances, do you perform a lot? Not as much as I want to. And it's not by choice. I mean, just work a lot, you know. But the last time I did do a show was back in December. Uh, it was at Papa Pete's. I actually shared my set with the homies. Um, so basically, they went first. And then I performed what I featured on with them as well. And then afterwards, I did my set. Okay. It was pretty nice. It was actually a tribute for uh, Danny Rosea after he passed. So it was something that was put together. And uh, we did our thing. Sweet. Yep. You got any uh, shout outs? You want to shout anybody out? Uh, yeah, I did promise a couple people if I could, I would. So uh, we'll say Reese Love. Um, Zach Bold over here to my left, Skino Films, Issa over here to my left, everybody back home, I just want to say keep doing your thing, don't let no haters stop you, um, and then shout out to everybody in Grand Rapids too that rock with my music and gave me a chance to be on the radio here too. Uh, let's go on your last song and then we'll come back for a hot second and then they gonna kick me out of here. But All right, bet. Let's go into that last one. Yeah, what we do remix featuring GG. All right, y'all. Ed Blair, little last moments, man. Instagram, whatever, man. Where can they find you so they can hear some more of that good music? For sure. Uh, Facebook, the Notorious Blair is my handle. Um, Twitter, Notorious Blair. 
Instagram, The Notorious Blair. Um, those are the only three. And then if you got Snapchat, you can find me at Notorious Blair there as well. And that's pretty much where I do all my posts and my lives and where all my links are. Uh, you can also go on Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, pretty much any digital outlet. Type in Ed Blair as the artist and you'll find my whole catalog. Okay. Is there any new projects you're going to have coming out anytime soon? Uh, I just started working on the third project. But so as far as me, probably later in the year or early next year. I mean, not next year. So later next year. Uh, but we do got Scatterbrains by Zach Bolden coming up, Imperial Junkie by Sunshine Pedro, Ryback's Nova Productions. Be on the lookout. All right, peace out, y'all. Nice, seven point three. Boy, Rush Guillotine, another one down. Ed Blair was in the house today. Yeah, yeah. Doing what he do, letting y'all know, boy, we let that talent shine here. Nice, seven point three. Let's go, baby.